please let me continue? Ms. Stevens was a resident and a lector of South Ferry when she was named to the task force. She actually continues to live in South Ferry at this time, albeit not in an address that she's currently owning or renting. Notwithstanding that, apparently the first selectman had her voter re registration revoked unilaterally after she was named to the task force. We did not deem that appropriate to remove her from the task force. Until her elector the registration is clarified, she is serving an advisory member which has been discussed with the task force. Okay. Wow, that, that she, is the yeah, most yeah. outrageous thing you've said about me so far. never done that. I don't know where you got that from, but Jennifer, I am really getting tired of the number of misstatements that you made. You did it last night at the Economic Development Commission. You made misstatements about what our conversations have been about with regard to the website. You've made allegations about me with regard to the doll pound that I have uh, that we run an operation that is not in keeping with the standards of the state of Connecticut. This has got to stop. I you just can't make statements. You're correct. So I, do not I want speak to know how you truth. know. How do you know that I did that with the voters? I do not speak anything but the truth for a select. Okay. How do get, you know that? Because I can get affidavits from the registrars that this occurred. Secondly, with respect to the shelter, I never spoke anything but the truth. To shelter fail the state inspection. Third, with respect to the Economic Development Commission meeting last night, which is completely outside the purview of this board, but I will address it. What I stated was that you had said, stated something in an email, and I'm happy to produce a copy of that email. Okay, well, I would just like to say, please show me those affidavits from people I, at the registrar. If you wish to pursue this first selection, I which do. I would not suggest that you do, but if I you do. do, I will get those affidavits. I would like to and see them. I would again like to comment that Martha herself stood up in front of this group and said she lives in Nogata. I didn't make that up. She said it. So I'm just, again, it's a concern. Now, you know, we can continue to discuss this ridiculous thing all night, or we can just go ahead and vote on this. The charter uh, clearly provides for advisory me. members. She is she, serving in an advisory capacity yeah. at this time, time given the change to her elector status that was forced upon her. But 